Hi, my darlings. How are you? This is going to be an overview for the month of March 2024. Oh, I had to think about the month there. Okay, and the first one up will be Pisces. Oh, my darlings, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so very much for spending time. Thank you for stopping by and seeing me, listening, chatting, making your comments. I know I have many comments to get to. Oh my goodness, there's so many. But darlings, I'm gonna get to them. So, I will be using my angel tarot cards. And then to clarify, I'll be using my angel wisdom tarot. So, the first one up, like I said, is Pisces. So we're gonna see what's up to Pisces. What messages do we have for Pisces for March 2024? So Pisces, this is for you. The five of earth, not too long ago, you had some fears um, concerning finances. That was temporary, didn't last long, did it? That's the five of earth. You got the 10 of water, and the reason it didn't last long, maybe you had a good, or maybe you have a good support system. I got the 10 of water, content, rewarding family life, 10 of water happiness you know renewal maybe not too long ago you did some you went within and you did um some review of your life you started clearing away things that no longer served you you know you start taking care of yourself you started feeling brand new because when you start doing that work you start feeling different and it's kind of shaky now we got the lovers here. The next card was the lovers after you felt brand new. A love stepped in, or was it love for self? We got the lovers here, or this might be a Gemini, but it's some kind of love here. We got the lovers. We got the balance card. You need to find a balance. You gotta balance your emotions. Something's going on, and you need maybe to find some have some patience, you know? We got the five of water, things not turning out the way you expected them to because you're rushing things. Okay? It's like crying over spilt milk. You're worried and you're worried and it's stuff that's already happening but or happened. But you're still looking back and regret. You need to find a balance. Okay? You're not seeing the positive in whatever situation it is. And you cannot hurry anything. Everything happens in divine timing and nothing before it's time, babies. We got the Ace of Water. They got some love here. What's going on? We got the Ace of Water. Well, they're falling in love. We got the lovers up here, but yet you got the Five of Water. Maybe you didn't totally do some, maybe you didn't totally heal. Or maybe there's some kind of, like, you look back and you think of, you're thinking of what has happened in the past and maybe the same thing is going to happen now. I'm not sure. Or do you know your situation? And we got the seven of fire. Defend your beliefs and your decisions. You are above your challenges, okay? No matter what, babies, you are above them. You're going to see your way through. Everyone has these moments, you know. None of us are unt untouchable. We all go through something in some point in time in our lives, Okay. You got the page of air. You're going to receive some um, challenging information. And you might have some delays to your plans. So let's see. Your first card up here was the five of earth. The mindset of lack. And that's temporary. And it's temporary because you have a strong family unit around you. Or you're very content. Right. So let's see here. We got three cards that fell out. Okay, I don't read my cards upside down. <laughs> we got the six of earth, we got the hermit, and we got the queen of earth. This mindset lack has something to do with some type of um, earth energy. This energy is quite generous. They know 
quite a bit about money. They know how to handle the money. She's the money manager. The hermit. Now, I don't know if you're just thinking about this person and if this person is in your mind. Or maybe this energy makes you feel balanced. So we got the six of earth, we got the hermit, and we got the queen of earth. Or maybe you are feeling balanced. Those are three exact cards. All right, let's see. We got the ten of water. The ten of water. Let's see. There is an earth energy here. This energy came in really fast. What happened when that energy came in? They brought something negative with them, didn't they? They made you lose your peace of mind here. They made you worried. You felt like they betrayed you in some kind of way. Or it could be. Well, I got the king of earth, I got the chariot, and I got the seven of air. Or it could be that maybe you're feeling balanced. But there's something that came in very fast that had to do with betrayal. Loss of your peace of mind. Being aware, take caution. There was something that happened here with the happy family. Only you know the situation. We got the king of earth, we got the chariot, and we got the seven of air. Or are you running away from something that's coming towards you? You know, we can look at it in many ways. But the thing about it is I don't have to point out any negative thing, you know, to anyone. We all know what we do, you know. We all know our hearts. What I say is that we can change the way things are. You know what I mean? We, we truly can. Then you did some soul searching here. So I don't know, maybe you forgave the person who betrayed you or something. But you did some soul searching. You started clearing away things that didn't ser um, serve you. And we got the five of water here. You got the five of water down here as well. So the five of water, you're just focusing on the ne negative aspect of things, okay? And a lot of times when we go within and we do some self-evaluation, we don't really want to look at that stuff that's there, okay? So it's kind of like difficult. And when you go in there, you kind of feel kind of bad, you know? But you know, in reality, you see, once you face those things that you don't want to face no more, it's really nothing that can hurt you, you know? I'm not saying that we can't feel things and be emotional. But when we when you face certain aspects of who you are or whatever, there's certain things that won't hurt you anymore, you know? I don't know where I was going with that one. I don't know. Somebody need to hear that, maybe. So we got the renewal card. We got the five of water. We got the three of fire. And we got the six of water here. Things are expanding for you, Pisces, not too long ago. Something, maybe you went on a trip somewhere, but something negative happened. Maybe that's what it is. There was some kind of movement. There was some swift movement here, something from the past. You, It reminded you about something. Or maybe you just in your head about the queen, of, queen or king of earth. You got the five of water, you got the three of fire, and you got the six of water. Something from the past. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe you were clearing away things from the past that no longer served you. Serve you. But we got the lovers here, and the lovers could be talking about decisions where the heart is concerned. We got the moon. Maybe things will be revealed. You, if things will be revealed, you'll have the communication you're looking for, and you will see happiness. We got the moon. We got the ace of air and we got the four of fire. There's going to be happiness and content in your family environment. So whatever took place there is going to come back. But you got to make a decision, I think, where to bring in this happiness. You got the moon, you got the ace of air, and you got the four of fire. Then you got the balance card. The need to balance. On top of the balance card, we got the two of earth, we got the king of water, and the seven of fire. So the two of earth, Mr. Pisces or Miss Pisces, you got a balance, okay? You got the two of earth, things are a little, uh, you know, unstable right now. 
Now, it could be that you're doing too many things and you have a lot of things to do. Could be something, something is making, maybe it could be emotional. I don't know, only you know. But we get the king of water. Your emotions seem like if they're getting balanced here. And the seven of fire, the seven of fire. You got the seven of fire down here, no matter what. You are above your challenges. Um, stand up for yourself and your beliefs and have confident confidence. You have the two of earth. You got the king of water. You got the seven of fire. Then we have the five of water. You know, thinking about the past. Focusing on the negative. Things ain't turning out the way you wanted them to. But you're starting to see the bright side of this situation. You're realizing that you need to make a decision. But you need to plan things carefully before you make your decision. We got the eight of air. We got the knight of earth. And we got the two of air. It's time for decisions, okay? You're starting to see things the way they are. The truth in the situation. Then we have the Ace of Water. New love. Oy. Let's see. You're deep in thought. Keep your eye on the prize. Don't give up. Don't ever give up. If you give up on yourself, who do you have in your corner? You know? Don't give up on yourself. You keep going no matter what. Now, I do see you doing some thinking. At the same time, you're really overthinking things. Now, I do know you got to make a decision here. You got the four of water. Now, don't get so self-absorbed that you miss something really beautiful happening for you. We got the star after that. And then we got the ten of water. And this is above the ace of water. So there's something new type of love or resurgence of a relationship or something going on for you, you know. I mean, anything can change, you know. Please take what resonates and leave what does not. I always give you these readings here, or these messages from my heart to your heart, okay? I do the thing is I don't want you to give up no matter what is going on. Don't give up. Don't give up. Don't give up. Okay, but this is something good. Just don't be so lost in your thoughts, okay? You got the four of water, you got the star, and you got the ten of cups. Above the ace of water. And you got the seven of fire, whatever it was that took place. You got your clarity. I think you made your decision. It gave you some negative feelings. It made you go back in your head. But you learned a lot from this situation here. You learned so much. You're deep in thought about all the knowledge you gained. You know, sometimes, you know, we get lost in our thoughts, um, thinking that because X, Y, Z has happened in life, X, Y, Z is going to happen again. Don't do that to yourself, okay, babies? It's something really hard, and I too am working on, you know? Um, I get certain negative feelings, and... It's very hard sometimes for me not to speak about it or open, you know, say something. And I have to try to change those, those the, that way of thinking, you know, stop expecting the worst things to happen. It's, it's hard, but it's something that we got to practice, you know, we practice and we will eventually get it. And every day it will be better. Every day it will be better. Every day it will get better. You just practice and practice. But get out of your head and stop expecting the worst. You learn a lot from this situation, okay? Gain a lot of knowledge. Stop worrying about it. Worry brings more worry. You got the nine of air, you got the four of air, and you got the wise counselor. On top of the seven of fire. <clears throat> then we got the page of air here. Your delays, they got some changes here. You know, you're going to have some, got to change some plans. Now, this is also about a communication. This could be about a communication where someone is going to just tell you something straight out, you know, that's going to be kind of blunt and it's going to, and it's not going to be too nice, you know. The truth, the card says, truth delivered without tact. So they're going to be pretty harsh when they say whatever it is. You got the two of fire, you got the magician, and you got the queen of water. 
after you get over whatever it is that they say, you will be fine. You'll have to, a decision to make. You have two paths to choose from. You're going to be taking up some kind of, um, taking some new steps, Next, the next steps towards whatever your choices are going to be. And those choices are going to be pretty bold and ambitious for you. You might be stepping out of your comfort zone, which is fine. You know, when you work outside of your comfort zone, believe me, coming and going live here, it, 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 it's not in my comfort zone. You know, it really isn't. It really, it, sometimes I have to talk and talk to myself and then I do it, you know. But you are magical. you got a lot of magic around you. And then you got the queen of water here. And I said, this is you. What are you feeling emotional about now? It should, it should be good feelings. Okay, it's good feelings. You got the two of um, fire, your decisions, you got past. Maybe, you, maybe you're going to partner up, partner up with somebody. Ha! Partnering up with somebody uh, on some kind of venture, going somewhere. But it's a very magical time for you. It is. It is. We got the ace of fire here. You're going to have some kind of creative opportunity that's going to bring you happiness. Something that you've worked on. Something that you've thought about for a while. We got the Ace of Fire, the Page of Earth, and the Sun. Happiness. New opportunity. Believe in yourself. For only you can make your dreams come true, you know. Only you. I love you so much, darlings. I want you to take care of yourselves and we will chat soon.